So tonight we are making the easiest pizza ever. Um, it is literally using a yogurt and um, self-raising flour. So it has to be equal quantities. So if it's 60 grams of the yogurt, then you're 60 grams of the self-raising flour. Now, usually I use zero um, pointed yogurt, but there was none left. So we had to make do with what we had. Um, so Olivia here is, as you can see, very carefully putting the flour in. And again, equal parts. All you do is mix the two together until it forms a dough. You might need a little extra bit of flour, just like you would do for a normal kind of pizza dough with kneading and things like that. Um, and again, put some out on the surface. Otherwise, you're going to have to end up washing your toddler's hands a lot quicker than you'd anticipated. <laughs> so, yeah, rolling it out. She's using her very own rolling pin from her kitchen um, corner, I may add. Um, she was very, very clever at this. I had no idea she knew how to do this. Um, so roll it out to your desired size. And um, when you're not being distracted by the television, like she was, um, you then use a fork and prick it several times, like so. And once you've done that, you place it on to some parchment paper. Of course, wooden forks are added optional, of course. Um, put it onto parchment paper, pop it in the oven at about 180 for about 8 to 10 minutes. When it's out, then that's when you get to put on your toppings. Now, this is where it then becomes pointed or not pointed, depending on the, the toppings. She's using, obviously, cheese and tomato, sweet corn and olives because I have a two-year-old that loves olives. Now, I'm quite happy with this. And um, some zero-pointed chicken. And that is basically it. You pop it back into the oven again um, till the toppings have cooked. When it comes out, it looks, um, well, that's before it goes in. Uh, and that's it all done. 